So now that we know what the slope point form of an equation of a line is and what the y-intercept uh, equation, slope y-intercept equation of a line is, we need to start playing with both of those. And there are a number of different things that can be done with information about a line that can be given to you and you have to manipulate or work things around uh, in order to get an equation of a line. <clears throat> I don't have every example noted down uh, on these pages because like I said there are a number of different things that can be done so it's just a matter of practicing and becoming familiar with uh, the material that you have at hand uh, so that you can apply it to whatever situations uh, tend to come up. So 6.5 uh, slope point form of the equation for a linear function part 2 Writing an equation of a line that is parallel to a given line. Example 1. Write an equation for the line that passes through the point A, 4, 3, and is parallel to the line negative 1 over 2x. Y equals negative 1 over 2x plus 2. So first of all, what I would do with a question like this is, and seeing as how I'm given a nice graph over here, is I would graph this line. Okay. Very simply, oh, pen's not working. There we go. Very simply, I would graph this line. <clears throat> Remember, this line is in the form of y equals mx plus b, where b is our y-intercept and m is our slope. And remember, I always tend to put the negative sign up above with the 1, um, just to alleviate any confusion that I may come across later. So that one's going to disappear. All right. So if we go to our line over here, and we'll be in blue, we need to graph y is equal to negative 1 over 2x plus 2. So on my y-axis, I count up to 1, 2, place a point. And from that point, I count my slope. I go down 1 over 2, down 1 over 2, and that would be my line. Now this is a negative 1 over 2 slope. If I wanted to create my line going the other direction out this way, I would have to be really careful because I don't want to count down one and then over two because now I don't have a negative slope anymore. So that's the wrong way to do it. Really what you end up doing is saying, you know what, if this was negative one over two, if I switch this around and say one over negative two, then I would go up one and I would go left two, one, two. To get this point up one left two one two to get this point and so on and so on and so on and of course for me my final step in making sure and checking is that well do I have a line with a negative slope yes I do and I simply uh, so now I know that I've got the slope correct <coughs> so that's the first thing graph that line then we start working and trying and playing or uh, working with the other part of the question. It says write an equation for the line that passes through point four three and is parallel to that line. So graphically I could say hey you know what if it's parallel then it's going to have the same slope and if it passes through point four three, point four three is right here and I know so this is 0.43. I know it's parallel. That means it's going to have the same slope, negative 1 over 2. That's a 1, not a 7. <coughs> so from there, I would count down 1 and over 2, two, which takes me off the graph. But again, like I said, I could always count up 1 and left 2. There and there and there. And now I have a graphical representation of a line that's parallel to um, parallel to our first line although my line doesn't look parallel don't mind that parallel to our first line uh, but passing through the point passing through the point four three right now we always, or we don't necessarily always have graph paper on hand 
so that we can very that so that we can work that out. Nor do our numbers work well sometimes. <clears throat> so there's a couple of other things I could do as well. I could because this is the slope point form section of our textbook. I could say, well, if this is my slope point form or point slope form, I always get them mixed up back and forth. Slope point form of the equation of a line. I know my slope is going to be the same. So this is going to be negative 1 over 2. And I know it passes through 0.43. Well, here's my x value. Here's my y value. And I could substitute those in. y minus 4 is equal to negative 1 over 2. x, sorry, not 4, 3 equals to x minus 4. <coughs> So now I have an equation. <laughs> the problem with an equation of a line in slope point form is that depending on the point you're given, you could end up with a, a different equation than somebody else. If I used this point uh, here circled in pink, or this point in pink, or this point in pink, any of those points, I would get an equation using slope point form. I would get an equation that looked different with each of those because I'm using a different point. So in order to, and when you get to that point, if you have to compare equations that are in slope point form or any other form, the easiest thing to do, or one of the things that you could do, maybe not the easiest for everybody, but one of the things you could do would be to rearrange your equation into slope intercept form and compare. So because of that, I'm going to walk you through how to do that with this equation. And we're probably going to do it for a few because I know eventually somewhere you'll get asked to do it. And the, the, the best way to compare two equations to see if they are the same, maybe you're comparing the slope, maybe you're comparing the y-intercept, who knows. But the best way is to have your equation in slope-intercept form. <clears throat> because in slope-point form, you can't compare equations. So we're going to take our equation. I'm just going to rewrite it here. And what we need to do is manipulate our equation so that we get y all by itself. The first thing that starts with is bombing this 1 half or negative 1 half in. So this becomes y minus 3 is equal to negative 1 half x or plus, because a negative times a negative is a positive, one half times four is two. Then I need to get rid of this three on the left hand side, so I'm going to add three, I do the opposite, because I add three there, I'm going to add three to the other side of the equal sign, that's going to give me y is equal to, because those will cancel, negative one over two x, two plus three, five. So there's an equation of the line. <coughs> in slope intercept form that represents our purple graph over here a line parallel to uh, the first equation but passing through the point 43 now practice says write an equation for a line that passes through 1 negative 3 and is parallel to negative 3 over 8 x plus 4 I'm gonna leave you to do that uh, when I come up with the next video I'll quickly, quickly run through that example uh, and then move on to example number two.